Hi, so welcome. This is the Radix Ecological Sustainability Center. We're a nonprofit organization building a demonstration site of sustainable tools and technologies designed to teach primarily urban residents and with a special focus on urban youth how to have more local access and control over essential resources like food and water, waste management, energy production, designing systems that are affordable, or reutilizing salvaged uh, repurposed materials when possible with the ultimate goal coming up with a system that can be replicated throughout uh, communities um, across the world, particularly North America, with the end goal of uh, building um, resi resilient urban communities that are, um, are meeting human needs while simultaneously being ecologically regenerative. Um, so yeah, bringing in a lot of kids and school groups, uh, giving them tactile experiences, being able to touch animals and plants and learn directly from them, building uh, ecological literacy and understanding uh, how they fit into urban ecosystems as a whole. Hey, no. Where's your stick? Here. Go get it. Um, we, uh, have them integrated into our system here, you know, we feed them greens. Uh, from our compost collection business, we separate out a lot of the different vegetable scraps. They eat a lot of hay. Um, yeah, and their manure is incredibly rich in nitrogen. Some of the best animal manure there is as far as, uh, as, a, as a garden fertilizer goes. You know, in the world, you, for the first time in history, have more than 50% of the world's population living in urban environments to the point where argu arguably we're becoming an, an urban species, you know. Whether you consider this a good thing or a bad thing, it's, it's the reality. Cities aren't going anywhere, so we might as well make the best of them. They are ecosystems. A lot of people would consider them not to be. A lot of people think of ecosystems as being rainforests or coral reefs or places that are perceived as being more natural and, or have fewer humans inside of them. But it's really important for us to be thinking about our cities as ecosystems in order to make them function better. Um, cities today act very much like what you would call linear ecosystems where they're drawing in resources from the land base all around and then usually spitting pollutants back out at the surrounding area but also concentrating them inside their boundaries as well. And what, what's really important for us to do is to make cities function more like cyclical or closed loop ecosystems. This is a great educational system, great for kids to just come in and See a fish. A lot of kids only know fish as being the thing that pops out of the toaster oven, fish sticks. So for them to see that and to understand that this is also how a lake or a river, an ocean, how it purifies itself. It's the same processes, just modeled on a very small scale. So it's really four different organisms. It's plants, fish, worms, and bacteria all working together. The, the, basically what they're doing is eating the dead roots of the watercress and the fish poop which settles out inside of the system. And then they convert it into uh, basically more stable material. So they are an important component of it. And they can, they can really survive in oxygenated water. These uh, tubes are pretty cool. They um, are actually donated to us by a, um, a farmer. Uh, they're actually meant to go inside of greenhouses and just be put against the north wall, just like they are, and soak up the heat from the sun in the day and then release it at night. The north sides of the greenhouse, this is the north wall, it's all enclosed and insulated because you have basically no solar gain from the north side of the building. So you might as well enclose it and gain all from the south and then trap that. The reality is that many times the, um, the laws and the codes that exist on the books in towns haven't yet caught up with that. So a very important part of this work is dismantling the legal barriers that exist uh, that, that can block the implementation of sustainable technologies. So, a lot of special focus on youth, for whom, um, especially urban youth, there's a really large disconnect between the food they eat and where it's coming from. So it's important to have m demonstrations of it, little pockets of these functioning, integrated into the mosaic of the, of the urban fabric, uh, to have it be part of people's lives.